Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you are at Lipstick and Thread. So uh, this is my very first video as you can see and for my first tutorial I kind of wanted to come up with a spring look because so it is spring. I created this peachy glowy look which I am digging. I think this look would look perfect during the daytime. So if you want to know how I created this glowy peachy look, just keep watching. To start off by using Remmel Stay Matte Primer, I do have oily skin so I'm always in the search of finding a primer that's going to keep my foundation on matte all day. I'm going to go in with the LA Girl um, in the color Peach Corrector just to cancel out my crazy dark circles. Yes, I have some really bad dark circles, so I'm just going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Biscuit just to like cancel out the darkness on my lids because my lids are naturally dark. So I'm just going to blend that out. Next, I'll be going in with the Morphe M501 brush. And I'm going to use the color White Chocolate from the Chocolate Bar of Too Faced just to set my lids. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Benefit Big Easy BB Cream in the color Beige because I've gone tan in the past couple weeks. And this color, unfortunately, is the only color that's matching me right now at this moment. So I'm going to blend it out with the Morphe M439 brush. I love this brush. Like, my makeup goes on so flawless. I'm just going to go in with the Nurse Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Biscuit to cancel out any additional dark circles that I may have. I like using this color because it does have an orange undertone to it, so it's perfect for a corrector. After blending out the Biscuit color, I'm going to go in with the Nurse Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color of Ginger just to brighten up my under eyes. Just to set my under eyes, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just going to dab that under my eyes as gently as possible where I'm not moving any foundation or concealer. I'm just going to go back in with the Morphe M501 brush and just dust off any excess translucent powder that I may have on my face. For my crease color, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar in the color Salted Caramel. I absolutely love this color. For my crease, as you can see, I have hit the pan. I will be blending in for a while because the key is to blend, blend, blend. The last thing you want is choppy eyeshadow.
Yeah, just excuse my singing in the back. I'm getting a little too carried away. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35C palette and I'm going to use these two colors just to intensify the color on my crease to make it look more peachy. The corner of my lids, I like to kind of feather in the eyeshadow just to give it a more smoother look and to kind of go along with the shape of my eyes. I'm going to go back in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and the color Salted Caramel for my under eyes. Now I'm going to go in with a more dense blending brush just to blend out that color and give it a more gradient effect. Going back with that Morphe 35C palette, I'm going to use that peach color for my under eyes and I'm just going to blend that out. So for my lids, I'm going to go in with the Milani Big Blush in the color 5 and I absolutely love this color. It's the perfect sun peach color. For my liner, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. absolutely love this eyeliner. I wanted the liner to be super thin, but I went a little thicker than I wanted. my face, I'm going to use the crown brush, and I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown bronzer in the color Golden Light. And I absolutely love this color. It's not too orange for my skin. It's perfect. I will be bronzing my face a little more than usual because I wanted to give it that sunkissed look and I thought it looked perfect with that peachy glowy look.
For contouring my nose, I will be using a small angle brush and I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer. I'm going to start off by highlighting my face using the Champagne Truffle from the Chocolate Bar. Such a pretty pink color. And the powder is so fine that it just has that natural glow to it. Now for the real deal, I'm going to go in with the Balm Mary Luminizer, my all-time favorite highlighter, which I absolutely love. I'm going to go in and just highlight that face of mine. I'm going to take that blush brush and go back in with the Milani Bay blush in the color peach and I'm just going to apply it to the apples in my cheek. I'm going to start off by a little and build my way up and just kind of fade it into my bronzer. To the eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Ebony. I naturally do have thick brows, but the hair itself isn't thick, and so for that purpose, I do have to fill in my brows and any bald spots I may have. I won't be finishing off my eyebrows using the Dip Brow. I'm actually gonna go back in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar in the color Triple Fudge and finish off my brows. I find that eyeshadow does have a more natural, fuller look. To the brows. When I first started to fill out my brows, I actually used eyeshadow.
onto the famous mouth opening while putting my mascara on face. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. Absolutely love this mascara. I remember when Mari had mentioned it years back how Kim loved it. I just had to try it and ever since then, I have been in love. I do tend to mix my mascaras, so I'm going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, another favorite of mine. I absolutely love the way it extends the eyelashes, even though I should have used falsies for this look. So for my waterline, I'm actually going to go in with the Remel pencil in the color New 005, just to brighten up my eyes and make them appear a bit more bigger. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color and the name Flirtatious. And this color is such a pretty coral color. I thought it would go so well with this peachy glowy look. color was a little too much, so I'm just toning it down just a tad bit. So guys, this is all for the spring peachy glowy look. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any future videos, just subscribe down below. Until next time, bye. Great, like, cause I'm always doing this. Like, I don't know what this is. Howdy, y'all. God, this glow. Damn. Oh gosh. Goodness. These bangs are so fucking annoying. Uh, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm whipping. I'm whipping.